guys, it's Riel here from the Inside Out, and with me I have Mr. Jerry. He's so awesome. And uh, today I'm going to be working on him, and I figure, hey, I might as well take you guys along, and uh, so you guys can see in action what I do. And uh, you're helpful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go take him for an assessment walk, and I will be right back. Oh, right, I am back. I just took Jerry for a little walk just to kind of see how he's moving today. Uh, I did watch him work earlier this week, so I already had a pretty good idea on what's happening for the dude. Uh, so what I'm going to start with is some acupressure and a little bit of light effleurage massage. Um, so I just wanted to go a little more in detail. I'm sure you've seen me do acupressure work before. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm working on the neurolymphatic points, and those points follow your spines here. Um, and they kind of work like circuit breakers for the body. So when the body gets overloaded, um, by working on these points, you're able to restore muscle function and take out pain and discomfort. Um, and if you want me to go into more detail um, on all of that, then I can do that in a more in-depth video. Um, but yeah, I like to kind of just feel how the soft tissue is doing elasticity-wise underneath my hands, and I can kind of watch and feel uh, for sore spots here, and this is kind of where I'm working. So this low back is definitely an area that he needs worked on. Um, so yeah, just following these points, and hi, he's handsome. He's a boy, buddy. So yeah, just feeling the, feeling the tissue, making sure it's uh, nothing too, too crazy ouchy through here that I can palpate through, and he's not going to be unhappy with me and I kind of I'm watching here for things like blinks just like there um, and that tells me where I need to be working and those are indicators of points that need to be addressed so yeah just using really light touch here too I'm not using uh, deep deep pressure it's just very I would say like enough pressure that you would put on your eye before it would start to hurt um, so yeah nothing too too crazy a nice way for me to start a session yeah good boy buddy yeah, so there you go. Okay, so I'm going to continue working on Jerry, and you can watch me work, and I'm not going to um, talk throughout the whole video, but it'll be a, an informative video and a watch me work video. Alright, perfect. Good boy. Oh, and I also just wanted to mention too that um, what you see in this video is not necessarily what you're going to see in the next video because every session is very, very uh, customized to the horse's needs. Uh, so yeah, no two sessions are really ever the same. So I have different tools for different things. And so for Jerry here, uh, he's got lots of low back stuff and shoulder stuff. Um, whereas, you know, other horses may be more upper neck, pole, low neck, you know, whatever. So um, yeah, every session is different and different tools for different things and different needs so yeah just wanted to just let you guys know that too so oh, oh that doesn't feel very good right there so that that actually makes a lot of sense here with with this horse and his job he is a country horse so um these are the muscles that typically are on the tender side for you buddy so we'll get that worked out so then he can then he can do his job much better so oh, oh ho, ho, there's a spot right there buddy good boy yeah, we'll just work that out for ya so yeah always just be careful though like when I'm when I'm palpating through here I'm very very cautious that um I'm not in the way of being you know if I hit a sore spot that I'm not gonna like you know get kicked or pushed over or you know Jerry's pretty good here but they are still unpredictable so I just am very very careful and I am on a stool because I'm four feet tall um, and uh, it's just much easier on my body but um, yeah just just use caution whenever you're around these guys All right, as I'm palpating through this elbow and scapula here, I'm just watching to see how these back two are with weight bearing. Um, the horses work in diagonal, so this front left is going to affect that back right.
beforehand, man. We fit you in. That's okay. Oh, good shoe, buddy. Jerry to do here is I'm just going to gently ask him to bend his neck around and you can see he's not super pleased about it. It's pretty restricted there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently, very gently ask him to bring around and then I just want to let him stretch and then I'm actually putting weight on that shoulder so he shifts his weight to the other side. That was very good, Gerald. Yes, we had a good chew out of it. That's what you want to see. You want to see a chew and a drop of head like that. That's perfect. So again, I'm doing the exact same thing here. I'm just positioning my body differently so then he brings around me and using my body, I just push against him so he puts weight on that other shoulder. And I'm just kind of working on this pull as I do it. And yeah, no, that was super good. Perfect, perfect. Good job, buddy. Wow, yeah, you can really see how much more open and more elastic this shoulder is. I can actually get my hand almost completely underneath that scapula there. That's actually normal. Uh, so that's that's really showing how restricted that left side was compared to this right side. So, hey buddy, you've been a very good boy, boy today, Jerry. I know, you're almost done, buddy. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna work on what's called the mastoid process. And what that does is help release his jaw. Uh, if jaw issues are really, really common with our performance horses. So that's something that I work on fairly consistently with most of my guys. I know, it's a little uncomfortable, isn't it, Jerry? I know, but it'll feel so much better when we're done. You're being a very good kid. He's just a kid too, he's not very old. I think he's like five, six? Good boy, I know, you can do it, you can do it, good boy. Good boy. There. Good chew, buddy. All right, buddy. You were all done, my boy. He did really, really well, especially for only being our second session. Um, we did about an hour and 15, which is a little bit longer than usual. Um, so I'm not going to have the whole session on the video. I am going to cut it down to about 10 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me work and then hanging along with me. It was uh, definitely a learning experience with this whole filming thing. So I'm hoping I'll get better with practice. But um, yeah, I hope you like this kind of video. I'm going to be doing more of them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.